Okay, so now we can just enter the journal entry. So I'm going to go back to to uh, the QuickBooks. Let's go back on over, back on over. And so now what I need to do then is record the the interest that has been accrued. I'm going to make a new liability account, which could be called accrued interest or interest payable. And then the other side is going to be going to interest expense. Now I can do that with a journal entry. If I hit the plus button, we can make a journal entry, but there's only two accounts affected. So I could do that journal entry instead of with like a debit and credit format. Uh, we could do this uh, in terms of the ledger journal entry, which will still see the debits and credits, but, but use that format. So I'll do that tab to the left and I'm going to go down to the chart of accounts. So I'm going to go down to my, my, no, the accounting, accounting, and then the chart of accounts. If you're in the business view, by the way, go into the business view, the chart of accounts is under the bookkeeping on the left-hand side, and then the chart of accounts. And you have to hit that to see it if you're in the sample company. Okay, so I'm gonna close this up. Now, the first thing we need to do is enter an interest payable account because I don't think they have one. I'll double check down here. So we got other current assets, loan payable, so okay so i don't think so so i'm going to say let's go up top and say new button and it's going to be a liability type of account it's going to be an other current liability other current liability and tax form uh loan i'll just call it loan payable i'm not i again i'm not really concerned with the tax line at this point because i'm not going to import it directly into tax software i don't think that's efficiently done at this point in time and then the name is going to be uh it's going to be you could call it accrued interest i like to call it interest payable which may not sound quite as sophisticated but the payable i think more clearly says hey this is a liability kind of account to me than saying accrued something accrued meaning accumulated interest you know that hasn't been paid or whatever so i'm going to say let's save it now i could I could do the adjusting entry. Now the two accounts that are impacted are an expense account, which doesn't have a register. So I can't use that account if I want to use the register or a balance sheet account, which does have a register. So if I'm going to use the register, I got to find that interest payable, which is an other current liability that I just put in place here. So let's see, where is it? Where, there it is. There it is. Let's open the register with it. Register. And then I'm just going to hit the drop down. I'm going to make a journal entry, but do it into the register. And it's going to be as of the end of the cutoff date. All of them are going to be 022823 cutoff date. Uh, I'll keep that. The name is fine or the number is fine. And I'm going to put in the memo adjusting entry. Uh, and I might want to put like more than that in the memo. A, let's say ADJ to explain exactly what I'm doing. But at the very least, I want to say, hey, look, this is an adjusting entry, especially uh, and in per well, anytime, whether I'm doing it and I'm doing the bookkeeping or if I'm like an accountant doing the adjusting entries and trying to work with a bookkeeper because I want to, when I'm looking at it from the bookkeeper's perspective, see what someone did as an adjusting entry versus what was done from the bookkeeping side of things. I can see that a couple different ways. One. It's going to be entered with a journal entry, which is an indication that it's an adjusting entry. It's going to be entered as of the end of the period, which is an indication that it's an adjusting entry. And I'm going to put it in the memo. All right. And then I'm going to say this is 72.92 increase over here. And the other side is going to go to interest expense. Interest expense. I'm going to pick that up. Boom. All right. I think that is it. So let's save it and close it over here. Let's save it and close it.